Hey folks, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically publish your Power Pivot Excel workbooks to SSAS Tabular. We will learn to do that using Power Update and XMLA scripts. Click to jump ahead to those sections. This is part two in our current series focused on server options, which include SharePoint, SSAS Tabular, and Power BI. Click to watch the part one video, which gives you the background on the key benefit of going the server route, the ability to separate your model from your reports. If you are using SharePoint instead of SSAS Tabular, click to watch that video. For part two, we will show you how you can continue using Excel Power Pivot as your design environment to build your models while automatically being able to publish your models to SSAS Tabular to get the benefits from the server out. It really is the best of both worlds. So let's jump in. In this scenario, we have an Excel file with Power Pivot model within it. And the author wants to continue using Excel to make changes to the model. However, we do want to upload it to a server so that we can gain those advantages. For instance, being able to separate the model from the reports, right? And of course, it could be any server option, SSAS Tabular, SharePoint, or Power BI. In this case, we're interested in SSAS Tabular. So we want to publish this Excel model onto this Tabular server, and we want to do this on a schedule. And let me show you the file real quick. So pretty much all we have is the Power Pivot model, because once you upload it to the server, the reports can be disconnected from the model. You really do not need all the reports kind of cluttered in with your model. Uh, looking at the model real quick, so standard few tables, relations, stuff like that. And we have, what we have defined here is we have a few measures. One is just now measure now. Now we know measures are dynamic, so this will always be current. But we also have another one based on a column. And if we check the column, it has the same formula now. But as we know, columns are different than measures. They are only calculated at the time of refresh. So this is going to kind of give us a static snapshot of when the model was refreshed. So we can keep an eye using this measure to see, hey, how and when the model was refreshed. So let us try to publish our source Excel model up to the tabular server using power update as the mechanism. And this one is pretty straightforward. We're going to start by creating a task. So we selected a daily schedule. But within that, you can also have it occur more frequently, as often as every five minutes. So now I'm going to choose the destination, which in this case is the tabular server. That's where I want the model to end up at. Now I'm going to select the source, which is right here. And I need to provide some additional information for the destination. There we go. My task is ready. It's scheduled to run at 10 p.m. Now I don't have to keep this window open. I can just close it and let's check our clock and we're going to come back and check at 10. All right, it's a little bit past 10. So I assume power update would have run as per the schedule I set. So let's go back to SSAS tabular. I'm going to refresh. And there we go. We have the table uploaded. Now you can test it by right clicking and saying browse or you can connect an Excel file to it. Let me do it that way. All right, so I'm going to ask it to connect to our analysis server. That looks good. Again, you can create a pivot table, chart, even a power view sheet connected to that SSAS model. 
and we can see 2.25, 10.01pm, that's when Power Update ran and refreshed the Excel model and uploaded it to SSAS Tabular. So pretty point and shoot, doesn't get any easier than this really. Same scenario, we're still trying to get our Excel file automatically published up to our SSAS Tabular server, but this time let's try to do this using XMLA script. Now this proved to be harder than I expected. Right now I know we can right click on, on, on here and say restore from Power Pivot. And here I can specify all these settings. Now my initial intent was that I should be able to just say script this action to one of these options and it would work. However, when I tried it, All I got was this message. Restore from Power Pivot is not supported using XMLA. Now, as it turns out, that's not quite right. Uh, you can restore a Power Pivot model using XMLA. Unfortunately, you do have to jump through a few hoops. Now, in order to gather the XMLA script that I need to start working off of, what I'm going to do is run this restore from Power Pivot manually by hitting OK, but at the same time, I'm going to be running a SQL Server profiler on the SSAS server. I'm only interested in one thing, so I'll unselect everything else. Go back and hit OK on my restore from Power Pivot. And you can see the trace is running in the back. Once the restore is done, I'm going to go to the profiler and grab the XMLA commands from there. There we go. So these are all the commands that I should need. Actually, I don't need all of these. Uh, you can do with pretty much three XMLA steps. Let me talk about that. For the specific XMLA scripts you would need, refer back to the blog article. You can get to that by following the link on, on the screen or in the details on the YouTube page below. So in here, you would find the three sets of XMLA scripts that you need. The first one is to delete the existing model. That's this part. If the model already exists, the next step fails. So the first step is important. Then you're going to need to use an image load command to load the model from XLSX file. And lastly, you need to change the impersonation mode. Since by default mode for Power Pivot model is impersonate current user, and that does not work with SSAS tabular. So we can use this XMLA script to change that setting to impersonate the service account, assuming the service account does have access to the sources you're connecting to. Uh, there are additional caveats which are mentioned in the blog article, so do give it a read. All right, so let's try to use these three scripts and schedule this as a task using SQL Server Agent. I've already set up a job in SQL Server Agent to execute the three XM XMLA commands. So let's take a quick peek at it. So here we have step one. It's going to delete an existing model. And if you notice, I have it set so that even on failure, it goes to the next step. So hey, if it's there, delete it. If not, it errors out, still okay, move on. Next step, we do the image load, where we load the model from that XLSX. Make sure you, you make the needed changes here. And the last step changes the impersonation setting so, so as to ensure that later we can refresh this model within SSAS. So refresh is going to be a separate step. So let's try to execute this, see how it works. So I'm just going to, just for the heck of it, I'm going to delete the model. And that way we're going to know for sure that it worked. So nothing there. 
And now let's run this. Yep. Go ahead. All right, we're done. Let's see if we have our database. Indeed, we do. But this by itself does not refresh it. For that, either you can do it manually, right click process database. Most likely want to choose process full. I can hit OK here, or I can script it. And in this case, the script action does work. And it spits out this command. And I've already baked that in into a separate job. Just give you a quick look at that. Again, pretty simple. SSAS command and just a simple XMLA statement. So let's go ahead and run this. So you're going to be running these two in schedule. And of course, you can combine these two. You can have them as a single SQL Server agent job. Probably that's the best. All right, that's done. By the way, the model refresh, this bit was covered in my very first SSAS Tableau video. Uh, click on the link shown on the screen to read that article or watch that video. All right, at this time, I'm going to test it using the browse feature right here. And what we're looking for is that column measure. And does that show us a current date? And you can see it's 1038. And you can see the column value is really recent, just indicating when the refresh finished. So there you go. You can automate using XMLA a restore from XLSX to SSAS tabular. However, not as even though it's not as straightforward as doing it with a power update.